In this video, we're going to cover examples 2.2.1, 2.2.2, and 2.2.3. All of these are examples about planes in R3, so let's just review what we'd seen previously. And that is that the general equation of a plane in R3 is ax plus by plus cz plus d equals zero. That the a, b, c can be interpreted as the components of a vector n, which is called the normal vector, and that is a vector perpendicular to the plane. So using that, let's go ahead and start with example 2.2.1. And we're told here that we're given a plane pi x plus y minus 2z plus 3 equals 0, and we're asked to find a vector perpendicular to pi and a point in pi. Well, the vector perpendicular, given what we just said above, is very, very easy. We can read it directly from the equation. The coefficients of the x, the y, and the z are the abc that can be used as the normal vector. So 1, 1, minus 2 is a vector perpendicular to this plane. Any multiple of that would also be an acceptable answer, but why make things more complicated than they need to be? The answer is readable directly from the equation of the plane. Finding a point in the plane takes a little bit more work. Any x, y, and z that satisfies this equation will be a point in the plane, so we could just do a guess and check. But better than that, more efficient than that, is to choose values for two variables and to solve for the third. So I'm going to say, well, let's let y equal 0, and I could let z equal 0. I could let z be anything I wanted to. Uh, so why don't I just do 1 to be different here? And then I'm going to solve for x. Now, I didn't have to choose x, uh, y, and z. I could have chosen an x and z, uh, x and it doesn't matter. Choose 2, solve for the third. So if I plug into the equation here, I'll get x plus y is 0, so x plus 0 minus 2 times z, I said was 1, plus 3 equals 0. So x plus 1 is equal to 0, x is minus 1, that's telling me that the point minus 1, 0, 1 is on the plane. Alright, example 2.2.2. This time we're asked to give the equation of a plane, and we're given some information. We want the plane to be perpendicular to this given line L, and we want our plane to contain the point 1, minus 3, 4. So a little diagram, a little diagram helps set up our thinking and is highly suggested for any of these kinds of problems. We want a plane, so there's my plane, I want it to contain the point 1, minus 3, 4. I also want my plane to be perpendicular to this line L. And this line L, let's remember from when we looked at lines, we can read a point on it that we will not use, but just to review and reinforce our information of lines. We can also see a direction vector, a vector parallel to the line. Uh, and we can read that as the coefficients of t, so 1, 0, minus 5. Now we need to give the equation of the plane. We need to give ax plus by plus cz plus d equals 0. And we just reviewed that the normal vector is the abc that we need. Now we want that normal vector to be perpendicular to the plane. The line is also supposed to be perpendicular to the plane, and so the direction vector of the line will be parallel to the normal vector, and there is no reason, since we are creating the plane ourselves, there's no reason that we cannot choose to take the direction vector to act as our normal vector. Any vector perpendicular will do, so the direction vector is as good as any which means that our equation is going to be, well, a is 1, so 1x plus 0y minus 5z plus d is equal to 0. We have to solve for this d. There is one piece of information that we have not used. We want our plane to contain the point 1 minus 3, 4. So we are going to plug in 1 minus 3, 4 into the equation and solve for our missing parameter d. So x is 1 minus 5 times 4 
plus d is 0. So minus 19 plus d is 0, d is 19, which means that we can give the equation of our plane as x minus 5z plus 19 is equal to 0. That is a general form equation for the plane that we're asked for. It is also acceptable to move the constant over to the other side of the equation. In other words, x minus 5z is equal to minus 19, also an acceptable answer to this problem. Example 2.2.3. Here we are again asked to give the equation of a plane. This time we want it to be parallel to the xz plane and we want it to contain the point 2, 5, minus 6. So let's start again with a diagram. So let's get a set of axes up here so that we can understand what the xz plane looks like. So there's our x, there's our y, there is our z. The xz plane is the plane that contains the x-axis and the z-axis. So if I were to draw it on my graph, the xz plane would be there. Let's just shade that in a little bit. So there is our xz plane. Now we want a plane that is parallel to that and contains this given point. So we want our plane to be parallel to the xz plane like this, and we want our plane to contain this given point. So the point is 2, 5, minus 6, so if I approximate where that is, maybe somewhere there, 2, 5, minus 6 has got to be in the plane that, we're, uh, that we are going to give. So we had seen previously that we need the normal vector. Well, if one plane is parallel to another, then their normal vectors are going to be parallel and in fact there's no reason that we can't use the same normal vector because any perpendicular vector to the plane will do. If we look at the xz plane there's a lovely vector sitting right there perpendicular to the plane that we can use and that is the j vector, the vector right along the y-axis. Any multiple of it will also serve as normal vector, but why make life more complicated? And so we can use the exact same j-vector as the vector, the normal vector for our plane. So we're going to let j be 0, 1, 0. That we're going to take into the equation ax plus by plus cz plus d equals 0. That's our abc. So we get y plus d equals 0. Again, like the last problem, we need to solve for the d. So we're going to take the point that we are given and evaluate that as the x, y, and z in the plane to solve for the missing d. So uh, x is missing, so 0. Uh, plus 5y, there is no z, plus d is 0, and so we're getting d is minus 5, so y minus 5 equals 0 is a general form equation for the plane parallel to the xz plane passing through the point 2, 5, minus 6, or probably more naturally this equation would be given simply as y equals 5.